We love NFL Network analyst Adam Rank. It's true. Legit. Great fantasy dude, but crooked Chicago Bears fan, it's whatever. He's constantly on the list, off the list, whatever. He's doing a State of the Union for all 32 teams, and his piece on the Vikings is pretty fair. And I agree with most of it. Now, Vikings fans would be like, oh, Adam Rank predicted the Vikings go 4-13, and which, yes, true. But I feel like the predictions are more trolls <laughs> than anything because his write-up of the Vikings that we're going to go through does not sync up with 4-13. and Like, it just doesn't happen. And I feel like predictions are trolls anyway because we do it all the time. Nah, guilty. But his analysis of the team in his recent piece is legit. Let's dive on in. The Vikings have been one of the better teams in the NFL over the past few years, reaching the NFC Championship championship game in 2017 and authoring some of the most improbable playoff wins in recent memory. Sorry, Saints fans. In Mike Zimmer's seven seasons as head coach so far, Minnesota has only logged two losing campaigns. Unfortunately, last season was one of them. The disappointment of going 7-9 underlined the broader frustration of being a perpetual contender at least on paper, that always hangs around the playoff picture without really breaking through. The Vikings' competitive window has not closed anything but, however, it feels like something needs to give here. There needs to be some answers. This feels like a pivotal year. And this is 100% an S or get off the pot season for Zimmer and company. They got a mulligan for 2020 for a myriad of reasons, but this team is too talented in all phases not to take a major step forward in 2021. We're talking about a deep playoff run. And Rank is right about the all these expectations and then ah, that's why. At, at, at times, you almost would rather prefer to be like the Jets or like the Bengals where it's just like meh. Or the Lions, where it's like nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we're out of it by week four. Oh, yeah, as opposed to hopes up and then kicking the nuts. Nah. Head coach Mike Zimmer, it's an odd numbered year, which means Zimmer is going to kill it this season. Check out this pattern. The Vikings have reached double digit wins three times under Zimmer in 2015, 17, and 19. So Minnesota is a lock to win 10 plus in 2021. I know this is kind of logic, typically reserved for walking into a Las Vegas casino, looking at the payouts on the roulette wheel, and concluding a certain color is due. Still, now I I don't put any stock into the every other year odd number year thing I, I i don't but i think it is emblematic of how inconsistent zimmer has been as a head coach can't string together two good seasons nah. and i like zim but the vikings need to find out this year if he's the guy to take this team to the promised land or if he's plateaued as a head coach speaking of plateaus quarterback kirk cousins in my recent ranking of how the nfc north quarterbacks would look if aaron Rodgers would leave the packers i had cousins second behind bears rookie justin fields of course. Of course. Vikings fans are upset, but I'm still trying to figure out if it was because Cousins was ranked too high or too low. It's probably too low. It's weird that the mild manner Cousins is such a polarizing figure. Who would hate Kirk Cousins? Uh, it's like taking an extreme position on Tom Hanks, who we all just sort of genuinely agree seems like a pretty great person, even though some might not like his movies or performances. I, for instance, can't stand the Woody character from Toy Story. How, how, how do you not like Toy Story, man? That most people probably still have a favorable impression of Hanks. I see Cousins the same way. He's never going to be in the conversation about the best quarterback in the NFL, but he's consistent, having thrown for at least 4,000 yards in five of the last six seasons. He's stopped 30 touchdown passes in two of the last three. He's solid, like Tom Hanks, and catch me if you can. Now, of course, Rank sees this from a fantasy perspective where, yes, Kirk Cousins has been a very consistent fantasy quarterback, but an IRL in real life quarterback, yeah. Uh, uh, i.e. the first six games of 2020. Uh, but, of course, Rank would bring up the opportunity to link the Vikings-Fields conspiracy. It's all good. And, yes, Cousins may never be elite, but with good protection, great weapons, a good running game, a good defense uh, opposite of him, and a competent play caller, you can win a Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins. Now, that seems like a lot of boxes that you have to check, but the Vikings do potentially have that this year. So, we could potentially have the best of Kirk Cousins, even at 32 years old. Uh, hey, no time like the present man go ahead 2021 roadmap the competitive urgency index is high the vikings look built to win right now you don't bring in pieces like peterson and thompson just sell for 500 if aaron Rodgers ends up out of the division which might merely be wish casting on my part a bears fan the vikings would be expected to come for the NFC North title. If you took that to mean the Vikings can't compete for the NFC North title if Rodgers stays in Green Bay, well, you took it correctly. Okay, wildcard spot should still be there solidly on the table, uh, but let's keep things snappy here. Uh, just look how many players, especially on defense, are on one-year deals. And this team is all in for 2021. Get it done or blow everything up. And I kind of love it. I actually prefer that as opposed to being, well, you know, let's just be kind of good and maybe we'll get in the playoffs and maybe we'll win a wild card game and everything will be hunky-dory. No. No more half-stepping. Win the Super Bowl. Stop with the, yay, we beat the Saints. 
cool in, in the first round of the playoffs. That's it. No, finito. Get it done. And he wrapped up, for 2021 to be a success, the Vikings must. I'd even say the Vikings need to win a postseason game or two. Rick Spielman and company put together a squad that looks ready to compete right now. Zimmer is signed through the 2023 season, so it's kind of hard to imagine his job on the line. Oh, it is, though. It is. But making the playoffs, even if it's as a wildcard team, seems to at least be the minimum expectation. While Minnesota's consistent performance has been admirable, it's time to up the ante a little bit and push for more than just reliably decent. Because if the pieces don't come together and the Vikings spent another humdrum year as a second-tier NFC also rants. Things could start to turn sour with the potential to really go bad in a year or two. Now, I think it would go bad right now. Right? And by the way, all these projections do not sync up with 4-13. and 13, But this is one spot where rank does not go far enough. No more moral victories. Like, the playoffs is the absolute bottom. Is the absolute bottom of the expectations. Winning a playoff game, also in the absolute bottom. You need to win two. You need to win three. You need to go to the Super Bowl. Win the division. And no, it's not based on if Rodgers is here or not. Packers are a very flawed team. We saw that last season. The Bears are years away. The Lions are in a perpetual rebuild. And they're probably going to fire uh, their new GM and new head coach within three years. So let's be honest here. Win the division. Roll through the playoffs. And hoist that Jerome Barty at the end of the season. One time. One time. That is a new level expectations. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It just is. If the Vikings just sneak into the wild card at a nine and eight or ten and seven, and they're just like, ah, they had a good showing. No, no, that is a failure. That is a failure of season. And I'm not one of those. Uh, every year you don't win the Super Bowl is a failure season. No, I'm not that kind of person. But this year, the expectations have been raised. The bar has been raised, and let's go get it off. All right. But right now, Adam Rank. I feel like this write up. It's pretty fair, so it's off the list for the time being. Well, we'll see what happens in the season, baby. Uh, but your thoughts, Adam Rank's State of the 2021 Vikings write up. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We'll support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.